When you hear the word pandemic, what comes to mind? For many of us, it s the COVID-19 pandemic that has dominated our news feeds and dominated our lives for the past two years. But pandemics have been around long before COVID-19 and will continue to be a part of our world long after the current pandemic is over. One pandemic in particular from over 100 years ago continues to impact our world today. The Spanish flu of 1918 was one of the deadliest in history, infecting an estimated 500 million people worldwide and killing more than 100,000 of them. The flu had an incredible impact on our world, helping to shape medicine as we know it today. At the time, there were very few treatments for the flu. The best thing you could do was get plenty of rest and drink lots of fluids. But even those things weren't always enough to prevent the illness from taking your life. While we now have vaccines and antiviral drugs to help combat the flu, these medical advancements were not available in 1918. The impact of the Spanish flu could be felt around the world, but some places were hit harder than others. Native Americans were especially vulnerable to the virus, having lost many of their family members to diseases brought over by European settlers. As the virus spread across the United States, American Indian communities were devastated. Entire villages were wiped out in just a matter of days. And by the time the pandemic was over, it's estimated that more than half a million Native Americans had died. In response to the devastation caused by the Spanish flu pandemic, the U.S. government took action. They created the position of chief medical examiner and gave them the power to quarantine ships and people to prevent the spread of communicable diseases. This action would have a lasting legacy on the medical field. The role of the chief medical examiner continues to this day, helping to ensure the safety of our food and the security of our borders. But perhaps the most important lesson learned from the Spanish flu is the importance of public health measures. It became clear that the best way to prevent the spread of the disease was to take collective action. This meant closing schools and businesses and canceling public events. While these measures were effective in slowing the spread of the virus, they were often met with resistance. People complained that the restrictions were being imposed on them and that they were being kept from earning a living. More than 100 years later, we are still dealing with the same issues as we try to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The measures we take to protect ourselves and our loved ones from the virus can sometimes be met with resistance. But the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 is a reminder that these measures are necessary to protect the health of our communities. If you would like to learn more about the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, visit the website below.